Sunday uh, evening, 4.55ish, something like that. I only know that because I looked at the clock. I know it's November. I think it's the 4th. Anyway, my husband and I have spent the weekend getting the last of my art room together and I'm going to give him a shout out here right now. He could have been doing a lot of other things including just being on the couch watching football. Dude deserves a break, but instead he helped me with yesterday with the run to Ikea and then building some cabinets and then today hanging shelves up. Granted some of said cabinets were for his um, desk that's in here. We're going to be sharing the creative space, um, which is a first. Um, but I think it's going to be a good thing. And um, let's be honest, most of the space is mine. I'm giving him a corner. But, you know, I if he's going to work on his miniatures and his car models and stuff, I would rather he do it up here where there's a lot of different tools rather than down in the dusty, dirty garage. So, you know, be that as it may. Um, I, earlier in... Last week's vlog, I think it was last week's vlog, <laughs> uh, we talked about inexpensive options for lighting, at least for the moment. I do probably think we're going to, at some point, add more ceiling fixtures to this room. There are um, overhead cam lights, which, um, sorry for the glare, there you go. There's only two of them, and they're above the closets here behind me. Um, we need more of them around the room, and it would be nice if they were all on the same switch, and they went around sort of the perimeter of the room, so I do think at some point we're gonna do that. Um, we have a LED ceiling fan in the center of the room, which is fine for now. I do think the light coming from it's a little bit amberish or yellowish there. Um, but you know, I did some lighting tests last week. You all think, uh, let me know what you think. Um, I did get the two clamp lights, which I put daylight bulbs in. So I do think that'll help. Um, uh, you know when you're setting up your art space really think about the size of the space how much stuff you have be realistic with You know even if you have a lot of stuff, you know, I purged a lot of stuff This is a big room and it is Very open, but you know what I like that um, it, I do still have a lot of stuff. Let's be real I had more stuff and how I got it in that little room in the old house Which was literally 10 feet by 10 feet. It was a hundred square feet. I have no idea. This one's over 400 so I have no idea. And the closets are pretty full. So I'm going to give you a little tour. And uh, let's flip the camera around. There's the double doors when you come into the room. And I always have a sort of inspiration altar space. It's a little different now than it was in the old space. I have different things out. But there you go. And some artwork. And um, mementos, feathers, and things. And there's an extension of that. And this is my little mini library that's up here. Most of my books and art journals are downstairs. Finished journals are downstairs and reference books. I do keep a few up here, ones I'm currently working in. Um, this is more reference material, and then these two cubbies of books are ones that I actually pull pages out of for collage. I've got some tools, my toaster oven, journals that are currently finished um, recently. Um, what do you call them? Like inspiration cards, you know, the, and dice when you get stuck for prompts. This is my small bits bank. I have not added more stuff, people. This is the same amount of stuff I had in the old space, is what I'm saying. How the heck did I get it in that old room? And this is the ephemera bank. And there is like one bit of salvage uh, materials. There is the bin down there at the end of bookbinding materials. Um, but this is all stuff I had in the old space. These cubes are from Target. The plastic bins, for the most part, are from... Um, also from Target. They're the Target Y-Weave bins. They come in a small, medium, and large. These here, these bins, I don't remember where they are. They're either from the Dollar Tree or Daiso. I don't remember. I have like two random bins of them. Um, these little five drawer Sterilite um, storage units you can get sometimes at Walmart. I just um, bought a bunch of them at um, uh, Amazon a while ago. These little metal shelves are also from Target. These little plastic bins. I have my washi, and yes, this is really all the washi I have. Um, these are K cup drawers, and I got them on um, Amazon. I will link them in the as much of this stuff in the description below as I can. And then here's my tripod and boom with one of the clamp lights hooked to it that I can bring to the table when I'm filming and when I'm not. It's in the corner. 
uh, behind that is my sewing um, station. I've got my all my machines there and my basic tools and notions. And then this is um, like uh, there's a drawer of masking and duct tape. There is a um, drawer of palettes. There's a drawer of makeup sponges, you know, overstock, that kind of thing. This is the, uh, for the most part, this is my, you know, mediums and paint bank. So you've got pencils, markers, pens, um, pigment powders, um, all different kinds of paint and mediums and glues. And that's where all this lives. Again, that I had all this in the old room. In fact, I had more and I got rid of it. Um, in the corner here on the floor, you see a couple things peeking out. The bucket at the bottom is pouring Liquitex pouring medium. And then those are pots and pans, yes, and a strainer. I use for like boiling paper, if I'm boiling like walnut shells to make ink. I don't use my kitchen pots. I have pots I've gotten at like the Goodwill and stuff like that that I use for that. This is the husband's desk. He has yet to really set it up. The drawers are literally are empty. And honestly, he just has that little one little um, drawer thing of tools. He's gonna put it down here. Um, and he does have a kit that he's working on, but I don't know where it is. Um, this is where my easel is going to live. We have these two sort of bays um, that hang out over the garage space. And this is my easel and my table that I can work from when I'm painting. I did put a chair mat underneath the easel in case I spill. This is a brand new floor. Um, these are from Ikea. These are $25. They're cheaper than any other way, place I've found. I have one under my husband's desk and also one under my desk. Um, they'll protect the floor from the wheels on the chairs and the pa any paint spills, hopefully. The little table is also from Ikea. This is my computer desk where I do all the website editing and video editing and um, bill paying and bookkeeping. Um, and above my desk, I chose this time to hang these two wires with clips on them that are also from Ikea. I've wanted them for ages and never had an excuse to have them. And so this time I really wanted them in to be able to hang inspirational things over my desk. And then this is one of my two Ikea carts. This one is set up for art journaling. And the other one, which is behind me, is set up for painting. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, there's a cabinet around the corner here that has my printer and office supplies. And this little cubby has my speaker, uh, my three Buddhas my coat rack with um, my aprons and stuff on it and my there's some files some paperwork these are the closets they're full this one is etsy uh, inventory and this one is random tools and supplies that i do use but not often enough to have them out on the floor like my rubber stamps and my uh, silhouette i do use them i just don't use them a ton i should use them more to be honest um, here's the center work table same table i had at the old house and I have it set up so that we have some tools on either end and a nice big wide open space in the middle. Garbage can which needs to be emptied. <laughs> My other Ikea cart set up with all the other paint brushes that are not watercolor and I've got mark making tools and um, of all different kinds. Um, found objects, pill bottles, um, foam, squeegees, all kinds of stuff. So this is the mark making tools. I see something falling through. There we go. Um, so I've done everything on a budget and everything over time. And this little thing here, this can live here. I can actually take it downstairs if I need to. Um, this is like $1.97 at Walmart. And I got that at Walmart. Um, I reused what I had and when I needed to buy new things, I did it on a budget. I did it at Ikea. This is one of the small Alex drawers from Ikea. This is one of their desktops with two legs. The legs are $4 each. The most expensive thing in that corner was the chair. Um, you really can do this on a budget and not spend a ton of money no matter the size of your space and really just think about what you have and what you really love, what you're really going to use. You may have tons of, say, yarn, but maybe you're just not knitting anymore. You're not feeling it. Let it go. Let your yarn inventory live at the knitting little knitting shop around the corner. Um, that being said, I do have one small bag of yarn. Um, I'm going to be going through it and um, either using it up or donating it because um, I thought that I would be more excited about using it in the new space, and I, I looked at it and went, that's
So anyway, that's it for the moment. I am ready to hit the ground running tomorrow. I've got video to edit. I've got um, a couple of videos to film this week for you all and I want to get them done and I can't wait to do some real work in the new space. It's going to be a lot of fun. That's it for right now. I'll be back. Hey guys, <clears throat> it is Monday, <laughs> November something, um, 5th maybe? <laughs> I think it might, might be the 5th. Saturday was the 3rd, that would make today the 5th. Um, anyway, it's late in the day, it's 3.58 p.m. <clears throat> I spent the day working upstairs in my new art room and um, actually working, not like rearranging or anything. I got a tutorial filmed, a, kind of a long one. Those of you who've been waiting for the rainbow heart watercolor tutorial, it's coming soon. It's kind of a longish one and the title will reflect that. Um, I also got two other videos edited that will be airing um, this month. And I have a list of other ones I want to do that I was coming up with ideas while during the move when I couldn't get to anything. So I will be now working on those going forward. I also added a couple new things to the Etsy shop. And um, I have some new stamps and stencil designs I want to work on. So I'll be doing that tonight and tomorrow. And then getting those off to the different places, the different manufacturers. I also kind of am looking for somebody to manufacture a travel bag for me. I shouldn't probably tell you all that and I won't tell you anymore because I have a specific idea but if you all have any ideas on manufacturers to contact I could use some help that's gonna be a thing all right I'm gonna go to Safeway and get some groceries because we're running low on stuff everything all right I'll be back <music> everybody. Technically it's still morning. <laughs> Turn left onto Southwest 131st Avenue. Thank you Jeeves. Um, it is um, Tuesday, November 6th. I only know that because it's voting day. Yes, I voted. Did you? I hope you did. Um, my clock says 11.59 but I haven't changed In 900 yet. feet. Turn right on to Southwest Beef Bend Road. <laughs> Daylight savings time, so it's only 10.59. Um, I'm going to stop by the little um, stationery store and post office, and then I'm going to go to Walmart. I need to pick up some stuff. So let's go do that, and I'll be back. Turn right on to South. Hi, guys. It's Thursday, November 8th, I think. Mm, I think it's the 8th. I know it's Thursday. I have no idea. Anyway, I have been trying to use up some of my um, dollar store drawing paper and some of my homemade stamps and some of my stencils from my stencil line um, and using them up to make jelly prints. I've been playing with some of the deco art paints mostly Americana paints, although I do have a couple of um, media photocolics and I have one white paint that's not deco art. <laughs> um, the Liquitex paint, because it's the one I could find. I actually have my little jar here of white paint that's a bunch of different kinds of white from different brands. I can't get the lid off. The paint's not dried up, I can feel it, but yeah, anyway. I have to have my husband see if we can get the lid off. Anyway, I have three of my jelly plates out and um, I've been making jelly prints, I'll show you. So these are them here. I have them hanging from these little hooks. I had these in the old studio. These are uh, hooks with the clip on it from the Japanese dollar store Daiso. I've seen them other places though. And then I have them hanging by the same hooks and clips over here. So when I set up the art room, um, I used some wire shelving up there and down here with the intention that I would be able to hang uh, things like jelly prints, things that weren't too drippy. And I wanted to not only use up some of the paper and play with the paint, and I've not played with my jelly plates in a long time, 
but I need to make some ephemera packs uh, for the Etsy shop that will include some of these jelly prints and also um, the um, a zine, a moving zine, and um, probably some um, fabric patches that I've made and other small bits that I've made for my small bits bank. And uh, yeah, the nicer jelly prints that I like, I will be scanning them and having them as a digital download for those of you who prefer to just have digital downloads and, and have that anyway. So that's it for the moment. I think it's time to have lunch. I'll be back. Hey guys, it is Friday. Um, I almost said March. November 9th. Um, I only know that because tomorrow my design team releases all their videos for this month's challenge. So keep an eye out on the YouTube channel for that. Um, by now they will have already aired by the time you see this so if you haven't seen any of them I'll link my video in the description below and um, where I make the announcement about the challenge and then all of their links will be in the description of that video um, anyway it's it's late in the evening it's like five o'clock I haven't vlogged at all today <laughs> I spent the day working on the Etsy shop basically um, putting together new product and fixing my printer whose drivers and firmware were updated evidently and I didn't get any notification about it and couldn't figure out why it wasn't working and then I went to the HP website and yeah anyway that took all day <laughs> um, I'm gonna turn the camera finally sitting on the couch uh, getting ready to just getting some relaxing in before the kids get here to have a family dinner night and I looked out the French doors out the back and that's my view don't you just love it? It's just gorgeous. Anyway, I'm gonna shut the door now because it's like, I don't know, 43 degrees or something outside. Maybe I'll shut the door. Anyway, so um, the new art room's working out great. I'm getting a lot of work done. I'm catching up. Um, I was cleaning out some stuff in the Etsy shop uh, online and also in the Etsy store inventory in the closet. And tomorrow, or Sunday, and or Sunday, I'm going to be working on the website, the blog, some bookkeeping, um, and then working on my next project list. Um, I have some, I did, oh, I did find time for a, another watercolor heart, and I'm scanning them as I go. I'm going to be doing them in different colorways or color theories or color inspiration, whatever you want to call it. Um, the next one I think I'm going to do is going to be beach themed. Uh, and then I'm going to do one that's like black and white and navy. Sounds interesting. So, um, and at some point I'm going to turn all the different drippy watercolor hearts into stickers. And I may or may not put um, a phrase, quote, or word of inspiration um, or wh what inspired me to create that on there. I may not put anything and let you all decide what, you know, what I was thinking at the time. Anyway, uh, that's it for right now. I can't think of anything else. We're going to go make some donations tomorrow because, of course, I found some more stuff I need to get rid of. And, yeah, so we're going to go do that and run a few errands, and I'll take you with me. I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It is, I don't know, what time is it? Oh, look at the husband's phone. 11.07, <laughs> technically still morning. It's Saturday, November 10th. Don't get excited. I only know that because of that. Um, anyway, we're out running a few errands. I needed to get a, a, some Etsy orders off to the post office, so I brought them into McCann's Pharmacy in um, King City. And so if you don't know who they are, I'll put a link below to their website or whatever I can find on the internet. Cute little uh, pharmacy uh, slash Hallmark store slash toy store slash post office slash candy shop. They do just a little bit of everything. I love McCann's. And it's in a cute little strip mall with a grocery outlet, a Goodwill donation station, a um, couple of restaurants. Um, there was something else over there I just saw that I, I thought, oh, I need to come back and look at that. And I don't, oh, there's a sort of artist cooperative shop, handmade gift shop that I haven't been in. I just saw it just now. So I'm going to have to go back and look at it next week. 
the husband is checking out the golf course and he is what? say hi Fred hi Fred so he was checking out the golf course and getting information about the golf course that we just found back here yeah and now we're headed out to do some more adventuring and off to the next just place drive around, yeah. yeah we'll be back everybody it's Sunday morning I don't know what day it is what day is it the 11th it's the 11th it's 9 28 a.m. because see I'm looking at the iPad um, I didn't film the closing for the vlog last night because yesterday was kind of a busy stressful day um, we accepted an offer on the San Jose house so cross your fingers it should be a sh super short closing and we should have a resolution to this whole craziness before Thanksgiving actually so anyway I hope you've all had a great week and have a great day go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it and um, yeah we'll be right back with the next vlog next week bye guys mm -hmm.